Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Here on social media, there is a label that a lot of black males like to put on black females. I've been called this. I know other black women on social media have been called this name. And it is Bedwinch. And I don't understand how anyone can let that come out, come out of their mouths. Because... It really is rape. Um, the black women did not want to go into the slave master's room and be used as a sex tool and be tortured that way. It's disrespectful to our ancestors and I don't care if you're a male or female using that word, I think it's deplorable. Rape is not funny. but they try and twist it and say what it means now is that it's a black woman who is dating a white man and she is caping for this white man and she's caping for white supremacy but really it looks like a bed wench is anyone who does not agree with them whoever saying it the word bed wench is out of control along with coon everyone who is a coon and bed wench or bed wenching and cooning they somehow disagree with the person who is calling them a bed wench and coon but I think I'm going to make a series about bed wenching and it's not going to be black women who are labeled as bed wenches because if I take on the known definition of this word then it's someone who capes for white men there's quite a few people who are celebrities and um, faces on social media on YouTube that are called this saying they're caping for white men but I think that's a smoke screen because when I did a search basically about why I hate black women you just saw a list of black males coming up saying why they don't like black women why they don't date black women and we all know the ones who have a lot to say about black women we know their names, their comment on YouTube and on social media, but they will even put a, another race of woman, their white woman up there saying why white women are better, why black men love, you know, white women and so on and so forth. But every time something ridiculous Every time there's some fuckery around, I don't really see it being, you know, a black woman involved in this, you know, upholding white supremacy and white males. And this is going to be the first video a part of my Bed Wench playlist series. Because this is outrageous, it's ridiculous. I don't know how it happened. I don't know how it qualified. And this is in Africa. Where you have a bunch of black people. It's in Africa. And it says, Bernice 
crown Mother Africa makes bigger news than pageant winner. Which the pageant winner is black, but you would never think to look at Africa and think that this, I mean, let's say it was a, you know, white woman that was crowned. She, there is no standards of what she has to look like and what she has to be and you know, I've heard a few videos of black men getting mad saying, you know, they are always saying black women do it. Black women get with these ugly white men or whatever. It's not the same thing. He may be ugly, but he has a lot of resources. But on the other side of that, why does the truth keep revealing itself? If you look at this, I don't know how. She was able to be entered into a pageant. A pageant is about beauty. I don't care what talent shows and the dresses and everything else. It's about beauty. And there is nothing beautiful attached to this creature. It's scary. And I wouldn't be surprised if her being in Africa has aged her double than what she usually would because they age really bad and really fast but it looks worse this this is a level of niggardry that is unacceptable and unbelievable you crowned this this as miss africa continent this is in the motherland. So black people let this happen. Black people let it in. And a lot of things are starting to become clear about what happened and what's been going on. Because if you can go to Africa and allow this to happen, then if we go before slavery, we know what kicked it off. You know, who opened the door for all of this to go down. Because if you can let this happen, I mean, we can go ahead and take that on back to before any of our ancestors was in slavery and know how it got started. There's so much focus on race in America that the weirdest thing happened. A beauty pageant was held in South Africa, where those who are knowledgeable enough to remember apartheid and its effect on South Africa. A white woman, Bernice Craddock, won Mother Africa, one of many titles given, yet a black woman won the pageant. What does that have to do with anything? And it makes it worse. Because there are people who are around who knows about the apartheid. They know what they did to them. But you give her this title. You put her up on a pedestal. You let this bullshit happen. This is revealing the deeply sick mind of black people as well. Black people didn't have to let this happen. But they went ahead and opened the door and let this happen. This is a disgrace. It's a disgrace. Mother Africa? How delusional. This, this creature cannot birth anything that's within Africa that looks African. These people are not African. This is so embarrassing. It's embarrassing. And this is why we are in the position that we are in. Because we let this happen. Nobody else would let this happen. Ever. You would never see this with any other group of people. And then people want, will want to say, there's been black people, black women who have won the pageant. 
the U.S. is very different from everywhere else. This nation is an infant and it has a lot of people here. But you would never see a China, a beauty pageant in China where they have, you know, someone representing them that is not Chinese. They do have issues with colorism and they do like to lean towards white, but they would never publicly put a white woman up there representing China. Not going to happen. Needless to say, black people on social media are going nuts as we should be. This is a travesty. This is disgusting. This is a slap in the face. This is like spitting in our face. But then I can't fully put it on their backs because we're allowing it to happen. How did this happen? Some are seeing the newspaper article and social media posts about Craddock and are confused. Too many are unaware that South Africa is full of non-native cultures. At this point, people are so caught up in the title given to Craddock that they don't even realize she didn't win. It's just a minor title. Bullshit. Anything attached to Africa should be African. It should have dark skin. It should have our phenotype and features. They're trying to downplay this bullshit. And no, no. And and what does non-native cultures have? To, they shouldn't even be there. I'm like, I don't understand what's going on in Africa. They didn't learn from America. I mean, you letting these people in. You haven't thrown them out. You haven't threatened them. You haven't, you know, pushed them out. And they're letting, you know, Asian people in now, too. Uh, uh, everyone's welcome. Just, it's the same thing we do here in America. Within our media, within our movies, everything. We always have to include. Even if they don't ask. We always have to pull everybody in. And we have to include everybody in our shit. And this is why we are not taken seriously. This is why we're a joke. This is why they step on us. This is why they do what they do. Because we assist in making ourselves look bad. And like I said, I said it previously. White supremacy is a table. It has four legs. One of them are all the white people who are holding it up. Whether they're from the U.S. or they're from other countries. One leg of it is all of the other people who are assimilated into the white culture and who said they they identify as white. There's two other legs and both of them, they're black. They're black people supporting this. The overall Miss Africa 2017 title went to, and I'm not going to butcher this beautiful young lady's name, from Pretoria. She had the highest scores in the pageant. She also won Miss Africa Globe title. Miss Africa 2017 is a married mother of two. She is a very active model and humanitarian. Her Facebook is full of her accomplishments and her life career. Follow her on Twitter. Yes, follow her on Twitter. But still, that's just trying to soften the blow of this fuckery that went down this is just it's embarrassing it's so sad and it's embarrassing I guess one good thing about Craddock getting more attention is that it can bring attention to her cause and that right there is a slap in the damn face I guess one good thing about her getting more attention you know they're reveling reveling in oh she's getting more attention Oh, they can go straight to hell. Her cause. Dignity Dream Packages. These colorful pages each contain feminine hygiene products that many girls and women can afford. It is a known fact that many teen girls in Africa can't go to school during their menstrual cycle due to inadequate sanitary help. 
to help these young girls you can donate directly to dr no don't donate to that um i'm not gonna donate to that that money is not going to those girls i don't believe it uh, all these nonprofits and charities they suck up the money they're not helping anybody as much money has been given over the years everything should be halfway better but it's not that money is not going to go to any african period and then these young girls and women would not be in this situation if they didn't have their disgusting nasty selves in in africa to begin with sucking up the resources taking advantage of the land using the people but then again, I can't 100% put it on their shoulders because black people let them in. The Miss Africa pageant week for me was very exciting. Character building times where I got to establish friendships with finalists from various African countries and got to hear the various challenges each country and their women have faced on a daily basis. Craddock said after her crowning no what she got is she saw all of these beautiful 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 black African women and she had her decrepit gremlin looking ass up there with them that's what made her very excited she felt even at her ugliest even though she looks like a piece of worn ass leather even though she is just she is disgusting looking she gets to be up here with some of the most beautiful women from africa and that shit is unacceptable unacceptable though not a very active and engaged follower bernice Craddock is on social media platforms such as Twitter and Facebook. Following the Miss African pageant online, they're already gearing up for 2018 pageant. Wow. This is a group photo of the finalist. These are some very beautiful, beautiful black women. Beautiful women. what this is confusing me but there are some beautiful black women why is this in it and this and this and this why are they in africa in the beauty pageant who allowed this shit to go down this is just horrible this is embarrassing this is a huge ail to africa to allow this to happen and i know it was men and women allowed this bullshit to happen there should be nothing but brown skin up here if you want light brown skin that's fine to the deepest to the darkest but it should be nothing but brown people up here there's nothing beautiful they can't hold a candle there is no comparison i find it hilarious that so many people are misled by the media and have been trained to not read think and research for themselves yes bernice craddock won a minor title in a pageant she competed in but why aren't people talking about the gorgeous, talented Miss Africa 2017 who actually won the pageant? Oh yeah, we only read headlines these days and believe what we're told. Even if Craddock won the overall competition, if she's a native African or a resident of South Africa, what's the problem? They want to ask what the fuck the problem is? Are you serious? This is Africa. That's the problem. And that's that's where it ends. This is Africa. She is not a native to Africa. She is not from Africa. They came there. I don't care if she was born there. That is not where she's from. She is not African. And nobody who is white that is in Africa is African, period. It is a problem. 
ask what the problem is. That's that condescending, self-absorbed bullshit that I cannot stand in them. If she had won the overall competition, if she had won the overall competition, Africa should have been bombed off the damn map for that. And, and it's not them talking about, oh, you should focus on the winner or focus on the person who went. No, they're trying to rub it in the face that this crusty, leathery bitch was actually in the competition and she won a title. Who the hell puts something that looks like this, the damn Crip Keeper, in a damn beauty pageant? And here it says, is this a joke? my sentiments exactly is this a joke is this satire that's what i would like it to be and here okay a woman from pretoria won the beauty pageant cool but the white woman won for philanthropy is given the title of mother africa okay yes it's yes it is strange and strange to see all the white women in the photo Something seems off about it to me. Bingo, something weird. Exactly. It's, and it's not okay that she won Mother Africa for her philanthropy. There's plenty of black people who are into philanthropy. That's bullshit. If this isn't some bullshit, I don't know what is. And she looks horrible. No, she doesn't. She doesn't look horrible. She looks like death. <clears throat> Truth is way stranger than fiction always. White people are still in South Africa is pure fuckery. Exactly. After the apartheid, they're still in South Africa. Africans let this happen. I'm, I'm seeing a common mentality here. A common mindset between with white people I'm starting with black people I'm starting to wonder because white people are showing who they are and they're letting a lot more of their racist bigot discriminatory attitude out but black people it's like black people are trying their best to hold on to um, a group of creatures that want nothing to do with them is weird is disgusting is it's off and I don't know where this is coming from like it's like a a woman who has been beat by her husband you know domestic violence like this person says that they want to integrate with you want to be with you they love you you've had kids for them and everything that you've done for them but when they get mad or you don't do something that they like or it could be nothing you could be sitting there eating popcorn and it's just a Friday morning and they are angry and they just holler off and punch you in the mouth and hit you in the eye and just beat your ass for no reason but you keep going back I don't know what to say I don't know what the remedy is I don't know how with this mindset that black people have we're ever going to um, get beyond this to get out from underneath the boot of these people when it looks like you know black people are taking a pipe and hitting them in the leg and telling them lift your leg up so I can put my neck underneath your boot I I don't understand it but if you understand it comment let me know tell me what you think about the article tell me what you think about this niggardry and fuckery that went down and I will see you next time <laughs>